Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I am going to explaining about the topic number systems. In number systems also, I will discuss the problems based on number of factors. I will discuss the problems based on number of factors. In the last session, I already explained how to find the number of factors. Okay. Now, in this session, we will discuss about uh, some more examples related to number of factors, especially big numbers. How to calculate number of factors for big numbers? This is very important to calculate number of factors for big numbers. It is not that much of easy task. For small numbers, we can easily write the number of prime factors. For big numbers, it is not an easy task. So, listen carefully. Here, the first question is, let us take a small, uh, let us take a number 144. Here the number is 144. First, write down this 144 as. Just by seeing the number itself, uh, we can imagine that it is a perfect square of 12. 12 into 12. Again, we can write this 12 as 3 into 2 square. 3 into 4. 3 into 4 is 12. Again, 4 we can write it as 2 square. This is also 3 into 2 square. Therefore, 144 is equal to 2 power 4 into 3 square. 2 power 4 into 3 square. First step is completed. What is that? Writing the given number in terms of prime factors. This is done. Once it is done, then number of factors is very simple to calculate. Only first step is difficult. Second step is very simple. Number of factors is nothing but adding 1 to the powers and then multiplying each other. Here the power value is 4, 4 plus 1 and here the power value is 2, 2 plus 1. 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. 5 into 3 which is equal to 15. Therefore, the number of factors for the number 144. How many factors? 15 factors. That is the required answer for this question. Let us take one more example. 240. 240. Here I can write this number as 3 into 80. 3 into 80. And next, again, we can write this number as 3 into 8 is nothing but 8 into 10. 8 is nothing but 2 cube. Again, 10 we can write it as 2 into 5. Here this is 8 and this is 10. 8 into 10, 80. This is the 3. Now, you can write this number as how many 2's are the total? 2 power 3 into 2 power 1 which is 2 power 4 into 3 power 1 into 5 power 1. Now, all base values are prime numbers. All base values are prime numbers. Now it is very easy to calculate a number of factors. Number of factors which is equal to power plus 1, 4 plus 1 into 1 plus 1 into 1 plus 1. Adding 1 to the powers and then multiply all the numbers. 5 into 2 into 2. 5 to the 10, 10 into 2. 20. Therefore, number of factors for the number 240 which is equal to 20. Number of factors for the number 240 that is equal to 20. 20 is the required answer. Next question. Next question is 576. 576. Here also if you observe carefully, if you know the squares perfectly, 576 you can write it as 24 square. 576 is nothing but 24 square. And again 24 you can write it as 24 is nothing but 3 into 8. 8 is nothing but 2 cube right. 3 into 2 cube whole to the power of 2. Now this value becomes 3 square into 2 power 6. 3 square into 2 power 6. Why? Because uh, here this value is 3 power 1 into 2 cube whole to the power of 2. So, 
this value becomes double this value becomes double 3 power 2 into 2 power 6 now the base values are prime numbers now you can calculate the number of factors number of factors which is equal to number of factors is nothing but adding 1 to the powers here the power value is 2 2 plus 1 and next the power value is 6 6 plus 1 2 plus 1 into 6 plus 1 2 plus 1 is 3 6 plus 1 is 7 3 into 7 21 21 factors therefore the number of factors for the number 576 which is equal to 21 factors number of factors for the number 576 which is equal to how much 21 factors let me explain one more example see here 7 8 uh, 7 80 right 780 here if you take 780 you can write this number as 13 into 60 13 into 60 13 6 or 780 right again 13 into 60 is nothing but 6 into 10 again you can write 6 as 2 into 3 10 as 2 into 5 okay this is 6 and this is 10 6 10 sir 60 now this number is equal to how many 2's are there 2 2 square into 3 power 1 into 5 power 1 into 13 power 1 first step is completed successfully writing the given number in terms of uh, prime factors that is done once it is done directly you can calculate a uh, number of factors number of factors which is equal to adding 1 to the powers and then multiply all the numbers here the power value is 2 2 plus 1 into 1 plus 1 into 1 plus 1 into 1 plus 1 here total 4 different prime numbers are there therefore you need to multiply 4 numbers 4 power values that is uh, 2 plus 1 into 1 plus 1 into 1 plus 1 into 1 plus 1 here the number is 3 into 2 into 2 into 2 here 2 into 2 into 2 8 8 into 3 8 3 is 24 therefore number of factors for the number 780 which is equal to 24 24 factors are there for the number 780 now by seeing these four examples first two examples and uh, next two examples if you observe carefully if you observe carefully 576 and uh, one more 144 576 and 144 these two numbers are perfect squares those two numbers are perfect uh, squares for any perfect square number number of factors if you observe number of factors for this number as well as for this number number of factors are always odd for any perfect square number of factors number of factors always odd number this point is very important number of factors for any perfect square numbers that is odd number whereas coming to non perfect squares that is even number for non perfect squares number of factors are always even number for perfect square numbers that is odd number is it clear guys that's all about this session i hope you enjoyed the session thank you thank you for watching